Joel, I would love to discuss uh, a bit of a more technical aspect, of course, uh, Dune Awakening. It's a survival game, it's an MMO. Two different game types, which I'm sure on the back and front end have to be treated differently. How does the player experience those different aspects from a server infrastructure uh, point of view? Yeah, so a lot of a lot of survival games are either you have solo games like Subnautica, you have these like you know local server eight player sort of Valheim style games. Um, then you have larger single server like Conan Exiles or Ark. You have large sort of uh, players on a single map. And then with June, what we're trying to do is have these multiple maps where you can play with many, many hundreds of people, right? So you'll be playing with lots of other players, right? So it is a large world to explore and share with others. Can I, I assume I am in a server with many, many people. Um, can I move between servers or can I group up uh, with other, like, with people on different servers? Is that possible? Yeah, so when players uh, start to play Dune Awakening, they choose a world. And that world allows them to, you know, it's like it's almost like choosing a server in an MMORPG, um, but it's a large infrastructure of connected servers, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But the idea is that as a player, you choose, you join, you start in a map, and at, from there, your experience should be relatively seamless in terms of how you explore and feel the world. The difference between the reason we call it a survival MMO as opposed to just a survival game is that most survival games do one map, one server, but we have multiple connected servers running in a set in a single world. So this is kind of where we come from. And it also allows us to have a lot more players in this structure. So how many people am I playing with on like one server or rather even, can I play with people from other servers? Can I group up with them? Can I be in a guild with them? Absolutely, you can be in a guild with people across servers. There's no problem there. Um, within your world, you can, be, you can join a guild with anybody, right? Uh, if you, when you join the game, you start in a server which is a Hagger Basin, right? We call it the Hagger Basin. The Hagger Basin is the starting server. It's a server with a minimum of 40 other players. It's a place where you can build, craft, survive, progress. If you want to play specifically with friends, you want to join the same version of Hagger Basin because Hagger Basin can have multiple versions. And then from there, you move outwards. I can, I can select which Hagger Basin I'm starting with. So like if we start in the game at the same time, I can make sure that we're spawning in the same not only that, our server browser also tells you where your friends are playing. Okay, perfect. So it tells you exactly who's on which server, so which dimensions and which areas, so you'll know. Okay, so we have different areas, different servers, different maps uh, on said servers. How do I traverse between maps? Uh... So once you're ready to leave the Hagger Basin, you craft yourself an ornithopter, for example, and you fly out into what's called the Overland map. And the Overland map is a server, again, running, that you can meet hundreds of other players on and allows you to see all the locations in the world. So you physically fly between locations on the Overland map. Uh, now you said my, my homies can come pick me up. Um, if you're a good homie and you don't want to put me in a dangerous spot, where do you bring me early on? Where can I meet other people? Where can I meet up with my guildmates even? Yeah, so once you've sort of explored the Hagger Basin and you leave with your friends, you go out into what we call the Overland map. And in the Overland map, you have an overview of the entire world and you can sort of see like the different maps that you have as an option. And one of those options are the social hubs, Harko Village and Arakeen, which are differently themed based on the different factions in the game, obviously, right? So you can go and visit Harko Village. It's a safe space. It's, it's kept fairly, fairly uh, okay peaceful <laughs> by the uh, by the Canley piece. And in there there's, you know, bars to visit, vendors to visit, there's, you know, the chome exchanges there. Um, you know, and of course you and your friends can go dancing if you want in the clubs. Okay, <laughs> did not expect that to be part of the game, but you know, you gotta, gotta relax every once in a while as well. And uh, now once I'm done dancing and I slept off my probably hangover, <laughs> um, I wanna get out into the action. Where am I going? So then you'll go back to the Overland map and you'll fly to the Deep Desert. The Deep Desert is this massive area. It's 500 kilometers squared, um, or minimum 500 kilometers squared. It's actually a bit larger than that. There's, <laughs> uh, and that's where you can meet hundreds of other players. Mm. There is probably going to be, obviously be a player cap if too many people go there, but there should, you should be able to handle quite a lot of people. And that's a completely seamless set of servers that are all connected together. Uh, it's a, generally a PvP map with a strip of PvE as people enter so that they can be safe when they come into the map and don't get ganked. Uh, and then you head out into the desert and you have these adventures where you're harvesting spice. The cool thing about the deep desert, and this is one of the things that I think I've mentioned last time, it's kind of unique, is that we have this thing called the Coriolis Storm. And every week the Coriolis Storm wipes the deep desert 
and resets it with a new landscape and new points of interest. So it's an infinitely explorable space and a really cool place to hang with your friends. I do love that. Uh, it really sounds like a very unique blend of uh, different elements from different types of games that you combined here together. I'm super interested to see how that all plays out.